every single goddamn game. It's okay. Oh man, this game, it makes me want to kick a midget. I'm not a violent person, but I want to kick a midget right now. A 10 pounded fucking do that midget. For fun. Have you ever seen a midget fly? Uh, look inside of my soul and you can find gold and maybe get rich. Hold up, Trinidad James in four weeks, but now my album platinum and shit. So what? Y'all keep the numbers. I'm more than another statistic, my nigga. This courtesy of Compton. We back. I said we back with another video. Say what up, though, to Lil Timmy, though. Starting the video while giving you guys some bars. I should just become a full time rapper, man. Full time. Joff. When you gonna let me hop on the track, man? <laughs> but what's up, everybody? My name is Ryan Gagpack. Juice Life, Thug Life, all that good stuff. You already know. And I'm playing some solo domination with the AN94. Final score, all that stuff is in the title. My perks and everything will be down in the description below. If I forget, just let me know and I will let you know. So anyway, I wanted to talk about playing solo and skill-based matchmaking. And check out the weirdo just camping in the most awkward spot. I take cover and pull out my cat 40s and these guns. I was playing some league play because I was just getting so bored and tired with pubs because it's just annoying. And these guns right here, nigga, right here, nigga, right here, yo, they tear through anything in the sight. If you're up close six feet, no matter what gun you have, submachine gun and sub rifle, the most overpowered thing in the world. If it's not a pistol, you're not going to beat me. You're not going to outgun me. And it's kind of sad. And that's the reason why I hate snipers so much. They miss that first shot. Oop, get the yak real fast. They miss that first shot. And then they pull out the overpowered Cat 40 or B2, 3 yards, whatever it's called. And they one shot you. But I was playing some solo domination. I was playing some solo league play because this fat, ankle, sweaty kid named Too Smooth, he left me. So I had no choice. It was 4 a.m. And I don't know why I'm still playing. And look at that bad aim. And oop, get shot around the corner. <laughs> Typical black ops, but I was playing solo. Too smooth, he left me. 4 a.m. I don't know why I'm still playing Call of Duty. And I just kept on joining into games where it's a full party. At least four people, five people. I try to play some ground war, going against four parties again. And I'm like, yo, I was getting pissed off. I wanted to kick a midget. And uh, I was just letting out all my anger to anybody who was in the lobby. It was literally just random dudes just trying to be my therapist in the lobby because I was pissed off, man. Just pissed off. And it got me thinking. I think that skill-based matchmaking, if it's going to be an MW4, they should only make it to worse if you're in a full party, you go against other people who are in full parties. If I'm playing solo, then skill-based matchmaking shouldn't apply to me at all. Because say if I have a, well, we're, we're going to go into reality i have a 4kd probably like a 3.9 something right now like a 500 score per minute because i've been playing league play and it really drops your kd and all that in game and it's funny that league play your uh the skill base matter of fact i find easier players in league play than i do in public matches which doesn't make any sense at all i find easier and more noobs in league play than i do in a public match and that's not how it should be at all but if I'm playing solo and I'm constantly searching matches and they, they, you know, they're trying to put me up against people who are my skill level. Often, many times, it's parties. All people do is play in parties in this game. And I've basically lost before I even spawned into the game. Most of the time, I got Team Timmy on my team. Eight little Timmies. What can I do? No matter how good you are, no matter, you know... <laughs> If, if that team, if the other team is good, you're going to lose. I don't care if you're Optus Scumpy. I don't care if you're the Mark of J, 5,000 hands. I don't care if you got 10,000 hands. You're not going to have a fun time. And right here, I'm telling my teammates, stop. Stop triple capping. I was trying to go for like 150 plus. But these dudes was taking my kills. And I do understand uh, Pacific Tune when he say that as soon as you call in that V-set, everybody just start hogging your kills. Like right here, man. Shooting. And my teammate, he just leeching off my Blackberry. Doesn't call in another V-set. He just leeches off me. But it's just annoying to play solo. And then you have like full parties after full parties. It's not, you know, every once in a while. It's every single game. What can I do? Sometimes I'm in my boxers early in the morning, about to go to work. And I got my, my milk, my cookies. I'm trying to lay back and sip my juice and just chill and relax. But I can't. I got to sweat in my boxers because I'm constantly getting paired up with full parties. That's not fun to play against, man. It's not fun at all. So hopefully in MW4, 
or if they continue the skill based matchmaking that it will only apply if you're in a full party and won't if you're solo because playing solo against parties man you're gonna lose most of the time that's why i say win loss doesn't matter at all but anyway my name is ron let me know what you think about the commentary and at least some feedback some how man fuck it i don't care <laughs> i stuttered but we're not doing this commentary over again it's 12 a.m and i'm tired man i gotta get ready for work so anyway my name is ron yak pack juice life leave a like if you enjoy it and i'm out peace